And And how do I go? No, how do I move the There oh, we go. You just go the arrows back on the board. These two arrows. Yep. Yeah, I'll try not to crash the system. <laughs> right. Got some photos here to show you. Um, afternoon all. Afternoon. And um, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the shabby state at French Farm. You will recall that the Freedom Camping Experiment at French Farm came to an abrupt end uh, last March, uh, March of last year when it was found that the public toilets had been discharging hundreds of thousands of litres of untreated waste into the bay and the areas remained closed to all camping since then. The council upgraded this toilet block in 2008 to provide accessibility and it installed a camper van waste dump also at that time. Uh, building consent conditions for that work required that the septic tank and disposal lines were to be checked for their suitability and continue to be monitored at two monthly intervals. Um, but it seems that in pursuing the doubtless worthy goal of accessibility, the council actually lost sight of the bigger picture. And in response to my questions to the council, I've been advised that for the past five years, the tank was emptied twice yearly. It's a 2,000 litre tank and uh, it's seen, uh, uh, no other inspections of the system have ever been carried out. Um, it's clear that the system was never fit for the task being asked of it and the condition of the disposal pipes was never checked, not even post-quake. The council has never apologised to the community for this negligence or taken any steps to rehabilitate the area. And I've had meetings with Andrew from Traffic, Andrew Hensley, that is Kate from Parks and Reserves, and Andrew Turner, um, to discuss a few simple things that might be done in the area, but there's been no results. Um, so if you look at the first photo and the second one, um, that's what happens every time there's a little bit of rain. So it would be nice if the hollows could be filled in so that doesn't happen. Um, the signage, uh, there's a proliferation of all sorts of signage there. Uh, there's a lot of commercial signage gone up on the corner opposite. And um, the sign in the background there, the original French farm information sign is, a, is in a very shabby state so uh, actually if, if you look at the next photo you can see that sign in the background just how uh, it's quite rotten and, and um, decayed and um, it would be good uh, if we could have a new French farm information sign for local businesses to use so that all that other signage, that unpermitted signage that's around the place uh, could be removed and um, this picture was to show the camping signage that's remained in place. It's become uh, rather misleading. In fact, the direction, that arrow that you can see at the bottom there, the direction that that points, uh, which says no camping, is actually, you can actually camp in self-contained vehicles in that direction. It's the other direction that all camping's prohibited. So that sign's very out of date. Um, The next one, sorry, that's not a very clear photo, but the arrow actually points uh, in one direction, whereas in fact camping is prohibited in both directions along that strip of the foreshore. And um, this third one I'd call spot the sign. Um, that's the sign advising that the area is closed for all camping, but it's actually pretty hard to find. Um, this burnt, big burnt patch on the picnic table, I pointed this out to Kate Clarkin quite some time ago and she assured me she would get it fixed. That's from, um, I don't know, people cooking there or something. Um, it's pretty scruffy. And um, there's our accessible toilet block. Uh, the doors are nailed shut with a, a couple of bits of scrappy uh, plywood that was put in there after um, following break-ins into the toilet to keep the doors closed. Um, and certainly the port that we have here at the moment, they don't provide accessibility for all users. Uh, so um, the future, we'd like to know what the future is for that uh, toilet block. I spoke to Al Hardy just a few days ago and he said that 
um, you were expecting a, a report from Becca this week on the on the all of the toilet the similar facilities around Banks Peninsula to see what other problems um, might be lurking and. Um, I uh, just want to say finally, please plant a few trees along the floor shore and I'm sure that the local community would take responsibility for nurturing those. Very good. Does anyone have any questions? Yanni? Um, thank you. You're the second person from the peninsula in today that's come in and, and, and basically made us aware of the ongoing maintenance issues. Um, I just wanted to make you aware that we are getting a report into the maintenance. It's not just the peninsula, it is actually a city-wide issue mm -hmm. um, and we are trying to get it addressed. But just in terms of the budget, would you support us putting additional funding on so that these basic maintenance type things can get done? Well, yes. I mean, it, it, I, I thought I'd come and talk to you about this specific issue as an example of what we're hearing in the media about the much, you know, there's obviously a lot of concern about the general um, state of maintenance around the city and Akara and, and everywhere generally. Uh, I mean, I had to ask and ask and ask to get the, even get the area mowed before Christmas yeah. last year. The grass was about this high. Yeah. Um, so something's um, not the system's not really working that well. I mean, I realise that reinstating those toilets is not a not an easy fix. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on any of the government's money that they. <laughs> They've just announced it's, a try. it's not going to go very far when you're trying to put in um, disposal, um, waste disposal in rural areas. It's not easy. I mean, the, the, the irony is, and I mean, this was the direct opposite of saying before that I, you know, say that I represent the city and the peninsula. But if you were still the Banks Peninsula District Council, you would have more access to that fund than mm. as part of Christchurch City. Mm. So. Anyway, that's all right. We'll 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 you know, we'll, we'll sort and, and these things out. And please don't forget that there is a community willing to, to help no, with some and, of this work. We I do feel that we can't do no, anything and I except also, pick up a I bit heard of rubbish. You talk about all the different people that you talk to about all the different issues, and I just think you should have a relationship with one person um, and and your that's community. Andrew. Yes, I know, and Andrew does <laughs> and play that role. You know, but we. <laughs> He's got a big, he's got the, he's the only sort of kind of yeah. large, that a council that size that's got um, a, a, a single community board to cover such a wide area. He does a tremendous job. Sorry, Andrew, I'll let you, I'll let you take one. Um, and it's just a request rather than a question, actually. Um, and just uh, following on from your dot, 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 and the ward, which is bigger than the rest of the city put yes, together, that, that is the language I, I normally use. Um, <laughs> Jan, can I ask you to um, forward to me by email those photographs that you've shown this afternoon? Because there are some issues there that um, I've raised before mm. and that I know work is in train to resolve. And I know you referred to that from some of your conversations with staff as well. And some of them are, you know, request for service issues rather than annual plan issues, despite I know what you're raising is yeah. an overall maintenance issue, which is um, uh, an issue for the annual plan or long term plan. But if there are some of those things that we can get sorted a lot faster than dealing with them as an annual plan issue, I'd love to be able to do that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I just thought that no, it was you know, maybe it, it is you all needed to to hear about these it's problems absolutely as worth part it of to the come. bigger picture. So, and we really appreciate the time that you've given us. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for the parker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had good feedback on that. <laughs> so,